Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel and another episode of the Battle for Astrakhazy. So last episode, the Night Gaunts took on the Eastern Warlord's forces, um, and they had the Eastern Warlord had captured a, a bunch of civilians. We managed to rescue them. In this episode, looks like we're up against um, some stiff resistance again. Um, so close to the coastline, uh, we had a large warehouse facility where we had a lot of material stored, and it was captured recently by the Warlord, Eastern Warlord. So we we sent the uh, um, Dragon's Rejects down to reclaim that base, which is what they're about to do here. So I'm really hoping uh, that it's not so bad down here that we got to worry about stuff. So let's just have a quick look what we got going on. All right. I don't detect any enemies anywhere, but um, we got to regrab this warehouse. It's got a lot of our uh, um, supplies that we had brought with us that we brought down to the surface. Ooh, looks like we got some turrets here. Got some placement, eh? That's not good. So they, the enemy must have installed these because we originally didn't have turrets and stuff here yet. No luck. It's one of the things we probably shouldn't have left undefended, but we just didn't expect for this warlord to uh, come after us this hard. On my way, double time. All right, let's get up yeah. in here. Uh. Now I did not bring the clint with me this time either. I wasn't expecting turrets. If I had known there was turrets, I may have brought it with me. Okay, let's just stay over here. Roger. Full speed. Stay away from that turret. Yeah. Get as far forward as we can get here, using this rock as cover. What's up, boss? Yeah, same thing with you. You're going to have a hard time getting through the mud, aren't you? Well, let's just see if we can get across Roger. it fast. Alright, looks like it's all quiet again. On it. Until now. Alright, we got turrets back up again. That'll keep my heat down. You are out of range. Oh, we can't fire this turn. Uh, infantry suppression turret. God, I'm worried about that Goss emplacement. I wonder if we should... get to a position where we can push it hard. Probably. Piece of cake. Moving, mm-hmm. Um... So slow. Moving to position. Let's just stay back here. On the move. Hopefully that rock is good enough protection from the wall from the uh yeah, it should be from the uh, turret there. Good to go. I don't think we pushed that turret. Moving to position. Not with the galleon and not yet. Uh, what do we got next? What do you need? Can you get a shot on the turret? You can. Confirmed. I'm gonna go in the mud here, get a bit a bit of extra stability. Alright, switching over to incendiary. Taking the shot. Okay, I'm on it. Okay, three hits, not bad. Right here. How far can we get? Oh, we got another one back here. Light command bunker. Standard shredder turret. So we lucked out. Really, the Goss emplacement is the big threat at the moment. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna dish out as much as I can possibly do. We're not gonna use the barrage, obviously. We don't want to damage our warehouse if we can avoid it. That's some pretty awesome damage. Report critical hit. God, I'm loving this fire starter. Okay, yep. let's get in there. Yeah, okay, mess in close. Let's get on this guy. Alright, a little bit of damage. Yes, Commander. You I accidentally hit bypass on last time and now we don't have the range. 
Damn it. Standing by. Gus is gonna get a shot at us. Double time, let's go. Not much we can do about it. Damn it. I'm losing a lot of armor here. Reporting. That was a CT hit for like 83. I copy. May have gun emplacements. Well, we found them. Fire now. All right, that's enough to take care of that guy. That turret gone. We took severe damage, Come though. Here, How far can I jump again? Okay, that's not bad. Let's move. Infantry suppression shouldn't have much. I think those are all machine guns, probably. God, this thing murderizes stuff. Ah, uh, Commander? Should be okay with the medium laser. Yep. Engaging with target. Yeah. Meh. Negative damage. Repeat. Yep. Repeat. Yep. Bugging out. Awaiting orders. Roger that. Keep moving forward. Yes, Commander. Don't stop. Okay. Going full throttle. Receiving you. Okay, we should be able to finish up this turret, I think. Confirmed. Couple points. Standing by. Affirmative. Just gonna shoot our own guy in the back. That should do it, probably. Ooh, okay. Commander. Or not. I'm on my way. Confirmed. Got the X-Pulse missed. Wow, what is going on with you? Up, Commander. Moving to position. All right, firing. You want some of the damage on this thing is crazy. Turret destroyed. This fire starter is brutal. Need? Let's move. Orders. Guys, it's gonna take you forever. Might as well go through the water. Yep. Got it. No shooting, just running. Aye, aye. Get up here. On the move. Yes, command. This guy was what? Standard shredder turret. What's in a standard shredder, though? Piece of cake. Could be anything. That's probably AMS ballistic. <sighs> AC twenty, probably. If it's just got one weapon, which means we should be out of range. If it's got an AC-10, it could be a problem, but... Here we go. Ooh, nice shot. Orders? Let's not get too close. Waiting for orders. On my way. God, are Double you going to actually get involved with this battle at all? Okay, it's probably got an ATM-3 then, looks like. I'm picking up a new 
sensor trace. Looks like enemy reinforcements. Looks like. From where, though? Usually they come from here, but I have no idea. Uh. Huh. Huh. Okay, you know what? That guy's not shooting at us, so no point in moving. Lock in target. Nice. Keep applying the damage. Yeah. Okay, get through the mud. Understood. Moving fast. I should have chose to come from behind. Normally you start up here and work your way this way. I was thinking about starting up here and coming down from behind the, the uh, base, but decided to start off over this direction this time. Go. Just to see if it would uh, change anything, but it doesn't really. Fire. Oh shit. Don't shoot our own buildings. God damn it. Yeah, Commander. Racing for impact. All right, that's their max. An Irby LRM twenty. Well, we could use the parts for our uh, Urban Mech Battalion we're putting together. Here we go. It's cheap. You know, Irby's are cheap and easy to, to put into uh, Ready for orders. to effect. We can just stick them all around our bases. Just running. Oh, it's an Urban Mech Battalion, looks like, or a unit here. Two of them. Aye, aye. Wait, if you're shooting at me, oh, I can't see the turret, that's why. I can't see the turret, that's what Welcome. it is. I can see it now. Plain as day. Here, enjoy these. Reporting. Affirmative. Nice. Three for three. I don't want to get close to that thing. I know it's an AC-20. I know it's an AC-20. Ready for order. Firing on target. Keep applying that damage. We're almost ready to push it. Ready for orders. Roger. Almost ready to push it. Stabilizing. Roger. Let's get in and try and capture our base back here. Hammer this guy with everything. Gonna go incendiary and firing. Acknowledged. Good damage. Scored a critical hit. Could have been better, but receiving you. Are you actually gonna get into combat today? Understood. Moving fast. Well at least you answered honestly. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna push the uh, the shredder turret this turn. This is our base, you bastards. Ours. Let's not give him this guy to shoot at though. Stop driving over our shit. Inflicted some heavy damage. Yep. Roger. Okay, what else they got here? A pack hunter. So three Irby's and a pack hunter. Oh, this guy's dead. Copy that. One less turret. Steam roller. All right. Yes, Commander. 
Ooh, we can catch a piece of that Herbie. Oh, yeah. This is what? R-68? So that's the, uh, the R-68, as I, as you may have seen in the last episode, at the end. Uh, the R-68 is the MRM-30 version. It is the yeah. MRM-30 version. Let's kill this turret. It's almost got nothing left. I got him. Yeah, it was the AC version. Okay, we got. We still got the wolf found. Oh, nice hit on that one. Nice, Commander. I don't know where that MRM is going to shoot at, but target this guy. Beautiful. Base is ours. All we gotta do is destroy these guys. Ouch. Look at the smoke. Stop hitting our Fargan buildings. Are you gonna get up here anytime today? I know it's not your fault, but... Still, I'd like you to get a shot at yeah. somebody. What can I do you for? Let's take okay. some heat off of our wolf found here. R62, ballistic and energy, so it's got a PPC and probably... An AC2 or AC5 or something? I have no idea. Oh, this is the LRM one. Alright, we're gonna go after this guy because he really is the threat, I think, at this moment. Locked on Since we're outside the base now, we can go ahead and put the barrage on him. Oh, see ya. Target neutralized. That was quick. Don't know where you're going. Standing by. Or where you think you're going. Wait, is that a minefield? Oh, that's where the dropship comes down, right. Get up into the trees. Take a shot at this guy. Eh. Stop running over our shit. Yeah. Going full throttle. No. Eh. Yeah, that's our boy. Standard ammo. Okay, so you took a l no nothing in the CT, a little bit in the leg there. Let's rotate ourselves a little bit. Take shots at this guy. Confirmed. Wow, he's out of range, eh? Okay. Oh uh, yeah, I keep forgetting that the uh, inner sphere, huh, um, the inner sphere versions of the. Uh, Pulse lasers are rel relatively short range. They're like 300 meters. Medium laser is usually 360. All right, hammer them. Maybe we can take that leg. Eh, either way. Target's taking a critical hit. Excellent. Victory through superior firepower. Yeah, they're retreating now. That twerk must. Ready for orders. All right, well, you're out of the mud. Waiting for orders. He's giving you a free kill. Yeah, let's just shoot him. Firing at Target's taking a critical hit. 
Awaiting orders. Ooh, we got another back Burn. shot over here. I know we're inside the uh, blast radius, but... Ah, shit, it's a lot less than I thought it would be. Let's just hammer this guy. Goes his leg. There goes the rest of them. Target eliminated. What do you need? Stay out of that All drop right, zone. Full speed. Okay, let's see if we can clean this guy up. Copy that. Or turn him into a stick. That That's works badass. too. Ready for orders. Can we get out of that blast radius? Can. On my way. Double time. Compliment on enemy. Ah, uh, I thought you were gonna get him for sure. Oh, you did! Ha ha ha! Nice. Must have been cr crits on the engine, probably. This guy's just running. This guy's got a bit of stealth, so it's not it's gonna be tougher to hit him. Commander. Let's get you around this way. Oh, we didn't take any damage, that's good. Yep. Acknowledged. Alright, let's get up here. Let's apply a bit of heat on him so he can't go very far. Yeah, not much. Ready for orders. Gonna move you into the water. Gonna cool off for this turn. Just fire him with the pulse laser. Target confirmed. I don't know if those are mi micro lasers he's got on them, or sm small lasers, or what he's got, but... It's not going to do anything from back. Where are you going? Oh, he's got a peep. Commander? He's doing the right thing, though. Copy that. He's doing the right thing. Get out to range so he can use his PPC on us. Copy that. It's really the only way you would win a battle like this is to outdistance us and then uh, hope that that distance works in your favor. Affirmative. Because as soon as he closes, he's dead and he knows it. Go. Ah. What's up, boss? On the move. Full speed. Firing on target. Just keep shooting him. No joy. Standing by. I hate it when they run like this, but... Let's move. Because it takes forever sometimes to chase them down. Next episode is going to be a good one. Just so you know. Should be pretty cool. Um, but yeah, I played a, I played a match with the, uh, Irby squad, and, um, hmm. just to get some gear, and it was an assassinate mission, and, uh, the last guy on a large map, he was a, he was a, uh, stealth commando, and I, I, I couldn't I find him. him. I, I don't know, I must have spent, like, maybe 40 minutes in real life trying to move my Irby mechs around the board and find the guy. Yeah. It was just painful. But I wasn't going to quit. I wasn't going to give up the mission. I was like, no way, man. Okay, we're getting the water. Copy that. Should mitigate the flames. And, uh, let's just go damage. I'm taking the shot. Aye, aye. Go into full throttle. Take the heat. I don't care, but let's just blast this guy. Affirmative. 
I know we're overheating, but so is this guy, so. Reporting critical hits. Getting a little toasty, Commander. Uh, orders? Moving Back here. Position. Them rocks, are you? Good to go. Consider it done. All right. Oh, he's wide open now. Oh, we can kill him here. Although I would really enjoy... Oh, I think we're out of range. Shoot. I was going to say I'd love to be able to core him with this guy. On the move. Full speed. The different rounds don't give us different range, do they? No. Okay. Crap. Oh, well. It would have been nice. Commander. It's just so far away. That's why I can't hit him. Confirmed. Take the flames. See if we can get this guy. Well, we got a couple hits. That's some. That's that's all right. That's all right. What do you need? This will probably do it. Yep. There you go. Removed. All right. Now we can bring our troops in to protect this base properly. We never thought we'd get invaded from the east. Successful. All right, let's see what we got here. Uh, almost no damage. Beautiful. Yeah, of course. Refuse. We could take three and just put together an, an, an urban mech, but ooh, clan micro lasers. Point two five tons. Clan ER that was a clan mech? I guess it was. Clan cockpit I should grab. Fire control system I should grab. Oh my god. Clan double heat sinks. We don't need it for the mechs on this one. We could could use it over on the other one though. The other playthrough. UAV. That's what? Tonnage zero, really? Oh I guess it yeah right, it goes in the uh, special slots. All right. Um, those micro lasers look good. Let's take four of them. One ton for a potential of 40 damage at close range. We need a lot of laser points, though, to be able to use it. That's the problem, though, right? Bloodhound probe. That's actually really good. Clan cockpit's actually pretty good. An additional gunnery. Fire control is additional gunnery. Increased sensor range. Uh, let's grab two of those. And if we get more, great. Those are just going to be for if we've got extra space on something that can, we can drop something into. Quarter ton doesn't use up much. Uh, the Bloodhound probe is kind of good, but I think we're going to go for the cockpit. Uh, you know what? We're going to leave the fire control system off, so let's go with the Bloodhound probe. It's two tons, three slots. Uh, although thinking about what we're going to use right away... What are we going to use right away? Sensors for sure. So let's go with that. Alright, two rubber mech, mech parts, the pack under part. We got two more micro lasers. Beautiful. Small can go. Uh, the vehicle flamer. We need ammo for that. So let's just ditch that for now. That can go. We don't need the 60 core. That's going to just get ported over, like the 60 core just gets ported over to the other playthrough. Standard fusion core. We wanted to hang on to one of these guys. So we'll hold on to one. And we got the UAV too. That's not bad. 
All right, so after recapturing our warehouse, we crossed the border into the uh, Eastern Warlord's territory, took over one of his bases, didn't have much defense. He had a, a, had a, uh, a wasp, an urban mech, and a couple of vehicles that we wrecked, destroyed the base, and we, we keep him pushing forward into his territory. We're trying to draw out their main force, and um, so we're just going to push along the main road here, hopefully encounter some enemies. Maybe we find their main force somewhere uh, that Got we it. can engage. So we're just going to move up here. We've uh, changed our camouflage scheme. We decided to go with hot pink again uh, because it seems to do well in enemy territory. So that's the uh, the, the uh, scheme that we got going on here. And we'll get our galleon up here scouting the road. Now it looks like we got some defenders here. Mongoose. What else do we have? Some urban mechs. RFF1. No idea what that is. I'm sure I've faced these before, but I have no 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 idea what they were. Looks like a lot of light mechs. I don't doubt this is the I doubt this is the main force. R60. That's the AC10 version, I believe. Kanazuchi. All right. Well, we'll just take these guys on. Commander. Let's do this. Let's try and kill this mongoose quickly if we can. Stay out of the uh, sight of that um, I'm going. urban mech if we can for as long as possible till we're like already on top of them. So let's go after this guy. Here you go. Yeah. Can I forget about these two urban mechs off to the left here? Going full throttle. We're gonna push up this hill. Continue along the road where we've got some speed, smash the units up the road, and then we'll converge down and uh, attack the guys in the valley. How'd that taste? We don't want to get caught between the forces. I mean, we could push forward and kill these two guys first. But I think the goal would be, is the better goal is to move up the hill, smash the guys on the hill, take the high ground. And then worry about the rest afterwards. Ooh, somebody's got some flames going on. Barely hit, Commander. Is that one of the urban Barely mechs? Barely hit, Commander. Looks like it. Awaiting orders. Got a little bit of heat going on, but that's fine. Uh, we're good with the heat output, so let's just go. Putting up a lot of twos, but that's all right. Okay. That's all right. We'll take it. Let's get in with some pulses. Full speed, no shooting. Got it. We're just, uh, the reason why we're showing up as pink is uh, not so much that it's our camouflage. It's just that it's, uh, we've tapped into their, um, their tactical uh, computers, and this is how they see us on their computers. That's all it is. That's how they spot us. On my way. We've got uh, six dots coming in. Six pink dots. It's coming in all hot. Targeting They're hot pink. The Here they come. Alright, uh, let's hit. kill this guy. We got... Where's the... Uh, oh, here it is. Alright, well that's nice. So the last battle, I did off, well, I did record it, but, ooh, that's not good. Do they think they can hurt me? I did record it, but it was such an easy battle for one, it was a one and a half skull base orders. destroy mission. And the, the opposition was so horrible, I, I couldn't even bother, I can't even bother showing it to you. Although we did pick up a, a Gauss cannon, an eight ton Gauss cannon. Which is interesting, I'll show you, I'll try to remember to show you after this battle, but, uh, it's got internal magazine of uh, 16, does 40 damage. So, I don't know, an 8 ballistic weapon with internal magazine feed. Eh, not bad. Uh-huh. It's one of these, it's one of these, it's this guy down here, probably. I'm listening. 
Um, I think we need to kill this urban mech faster. Or at least blow his arm off. Out. Mm -hmm. So we'll get the wolfhound and the um, fire starter on this guy. See if we can take his arm off before he does anything. Lock in or maybe just the wolfhound. There it goes. So he's useless now. Scored a critical hit. Mm. Think he's just got a small laser left? Yeah. Alright, so he's out of the battle. We'll just stick the galleon on him probably. Until he's dead. Kenazuchi, I have no idea what this is. It's a lot of close range weapons. Oh, I think that's like battle armor or something. Yep. Okay, we're gonna walk it up here. Get our stability back. We're gonna take some heat or uh, heat from that uh, thing there, but no, no big deal. We, we run pretty super cool anyway with most of these mechs, so nice. Fuck this guy. <laughs> I think those are a lot of point defense weapons. Oh, you know what that is? Yeah, I th I've seen that before. I, I can't tell you right now where I've seen it, but... Um, let's get on him. But yeah, it shouldn't be a problem taking care of this thing. I think it's like a like midget battle armor or something. Uh, I should go all crazy on this thing. It's got lots of armor though. Lots of. Okay, that's some good damage. That's some good Stay damage. Tight. Putting up some big numbers. Let's get in the side of this uh, urban mech. Maybe we can blow up its ammo. Well, there goes the torso. <laughs> the laugh. It's so good. I hope she never dies. Standing by. Alright, let's just kill this fucking guy right here. See ya! I'm worried about what those guys have on them. I, I really, I'm sincerely worried about what they have on them. Okay, I can't shoot that guy. Let's just get up in here. <laughs> the worst thing, the last thing you want to do is with somebody who's completely unreliable with the AC-20 to have them fire through three of your, three of your guys to, to try and target a mech. It's a bad idea. Okay, so, so there's only those two guys up there left. Yeah, thanks for showing up, buddy. Thanks for showing up. Yeah, so the last battle I did off camera, I had the Hetzer, there was a wasp. And we did some damage. It had a bunch of micro lasers, and I was like, "Okay, the headser is going to kill this thing." And I, it basically was, "Oh, there's Anubis." It went um, one, two, three, four, five turns before it landed a shot, and the shots were all like between 37 percent and 60 percent. And then, of course, the last shot right wiped here. it out. Mm -hmm. Wiped it out in one. All right, let's just go ahead. Murder this guy. What's up, Commander? Murder this guy. How are you doing for armor and stuff? It's actually not that bad. I want to hold on to the rockets because I have no idea what we got coming up. Report critical hit. Receiving you. Nope. Let's get right here. Hopefully you can absorb some shots from this guy. We'll shoot on this guy's side. Nice. Looks like I was, the guy's a little drunk. Look at this thing. 
It's so tiny. Why would you step on something for 25 damage when you can shoot it for more? Whoa, what the heck was all that? Oh, it's probably got some melee stuff on it. Well, that's cool. Yes, Commander. That's cool. Alright. We need to engage these guys. We're okay up there. This Anubis is pushing us and I don't like it. No, sir. I don't like it. Taking the stop. Mess him up. Mess him up. So this is the Anubis that is in the description with all the missile hard points. The one that we picked up in the night gods and put together only has laser hard points. I would have preferred it having some missile hard points. Uh, let's switch this to um, incendiary. Ooh, see ya. That FF stealth gone. destroyed. Goodbye. There's some salvage for us. I wonder what these guys are. There's another. There's got to be another mech over here too somewhere. Commander. Okay, get right up on this guy. This is what we did with the wasp. And the uh, mission that you're not going to see because it was so easy and so boring. We didn't have this good a chance to hit though, but this is what we did with the wasp. We drove right up to it and kept shooting at it. Oh my god, you missed. And this is what it was this is what it was like. You drive up and fire and miss and fire and miss and fire and miss and fire and miss continuously over and over again. This thing has to go. I mean both of our vehicles have we gotta get better vehicles. The planet we're at now actually has a, a like got four vehicles in the uh, in the store. But they're all of them are uh, all around two million or more. I'm listening. So I don't want to spend two million on a vehicle. Um Yep. See the wolf out. I'm not worried about shooting over top of my vehicles with. Pulling the trigger. Mm -hmm. That was a critical hit. That was. Yeah. Was it? It was a critical hit before Christmas. Heading out. All right, a little bit of fire suppression. Okay, he's got. Four fluid guns and a tag. Okay, I'm on it. Wow. Oh yeah. How is that even a mech? Four fluid guns and a tag. On an urban mech. Mostly me. That was their guy, by the way. <laughs> that was aye, aye. that was their that was their guy by the way. I thought I panicked. I thought it was one of my guys bailing out. Like, why would you bail out? No, nope, that was theirs. All right, let's go down this way. Uh, let's stick together. Head this way. Ready for order. All right, we've already done significant damage to the front side of this guy, so let's not shoot him in the back. Let's keep shooting on the front. Hopefully we can rip it apart. Good chances to hit. Here they come. Target acquired. Yeah, it's a lot of battle armor stuff on this thing. That hit something good. <laughs> there's an... There, I wonder if there's three of these down there. Because there is another mech down there, or a vehicle or something. Oh, no, there it is. What is that? Ooh, just the barrage. That's a lot of rockets. It's probably the uh, rocket urban mech. What's up, Bob? I hope it's not. I hope it's something, like, really, really big Moving to for a change. Like, this is, this is, like... I think this is a two skull mission. One and a half two skull mission. 
Negative damage. And still nothing. Repeat, ready for orders. Having a hard time getting some good uh, opposition here. I'm, I'm going to have to go right up to like two and a half and see what happens. Well, like I said, I'm worried because I don't get I don't get extra defenders. So if I get three lances of medium max, I'm fucked. But whatever. Commander, we got to do something at some point. All right, let's just move it. Oh, ah, shit! I shouldn't move. Well, is it coming this turn or next turn? Next turn. No, this turn. Oh well. We're on the edge of the brush. It shouldn't be so bad. Why is this guy not dead? There's four of you up there. Wow. Yes, command. She better not have been Ooh. dead. If she dies, it's your fault. This thing is tougher than any mech I've fought yet. Confirmed. You just fucking killed this guy. Oh. He's going down. Panic level critical. He should bail. No. Because of course he's yep. not. Why would he bail? Understood. Moving fast. Oh my god. Really? What was that? Standing by. What do you think? You can kill this guy now? Now nah, you can do it. That's a kill. Well, at least they're just shooting me with tags. Yeah, a couple points. Right here. Mm -hmm. Let's get fucking moving down here. Sorry for the swearing, but this is like just annoying. We may have permanently lost that vehicle. Aye, aye. I mean, Welcome. to be honest, it's not that bad. Affirmative. Right, it's only got like a medium laser and a couple machine guns, but still. As long as the pilot survives, that's all that matters. Take that. It's just the, uh... Need. There we go. It's just the, um... You know, the, the thing of it. I just, I did, I, uh, the idea of it getting destroyed like that. Mech destroyed. All we can do is make sure these guys... You. ...know that messing around with us is a bad idea. So we got our heat back. Ooh, toasty. That guy's stealth. He's gotta be. So he had two lasers and a crap ton of rockets, so I wonder what it was. I mean, it could be an urban mech. I mean, I know we're gonna find out soon enough, but... It could be an urban mech. It's going really slow, right? Yeah. Yeah. Let's get a side shot in this guy, if you don't mind. He looks like a panther. All right, firing. Here we go. A little bit of penetration. Confirmed. Gonna move minimally. Oh. 
Yeah, it was the uh, missile mech, missile urban mech. Um, what can we leave off? Paramediums, probably. That's what you get when you shoot crap all over me. Ooh, he covered me in fluids. <laughs> you just sounds so wrong. He covered me in fluids. He loved me so much he covered me in fluids. Ah! Alright. Good to go. It's just wrong. Alright. See if we can shoot this I'm guy. Oh, he is kind of stealthy. He is kind of stealthy. Sure. I'm gonna make, make him something. Okay, now he's nice and toasty. Short range missiles are all gone, Commander. That's alright. He's toasty. Gonna hit him with incendiary ammo next turn. Light damage. Holding firm. He's still super hot, though. Waiting for orders. I wonder if he's only got standard heat sinks. Aye, aye. That's a high probability. Yeah. Let's go here. Let's move. Gonna drop some heat. Just go with the incendiary ammo on this guy. Copy that. How's that? You enjoy that, buddy? Orders. Let's get on this guy. Coordinates received. Target confirmed. Tags on, that's the most important thing. Yes, Commander. Because now we can follow it up move. with the murder murder shay. Here it comes. We'll go. Ah. Scored a critical hit. Thought I was not as good Commander. as I would have hoped. Affirmative. Yeah, you're gonna heat up fast here. Oh, not so bad. Guess I'll give it to him then. I forgot I really worked on the heat sinking for these mechs. Like, the Wolfhound runs so much cooler than it ever used to. What's up, boss? Acknowledge. Just keep moving forward. What do you need? Got it. Look how hot this guy is. Screw you! Aye, aye. Oh, he had incendiary nice. rockets. Got past the armor. Interested to see right here. if that's just like an upgraded version of the original one. Because I don't think the Rocket Irby had stealth and stuff on it. I think it was just full of rockets. Nice. Target eliminated. Yeah. Let's get away from the barrage here. Hauling ass. Awaiting orders. All right, let's continue put to push into this territory a little bit. Go up to the hill here. See if we can get a good uh, sight around the land. Receiving you. So we finally picked up a last little blip here up on the hill. It's okay. Damage is light. Looks like it was probably the, the uh, command mech. Receiving you. We've been picking up a little bit of radio chatter. So hopefully he's made uh, contact yeah. with his uh, main force. Confirm. Let them know where we are. So maybe we can finally engage oh, it and order. find out what what the hell we're dealing with here. Affirmative. Commander. All right, let's keep moving up the hill. 
Roger. Don't know why I'm bringing this friggin' thing with me. Ooh, it's the O. Knows who the threat is. Damage is Not. Minor, yep. Let's move. All right, get to the top of this hill. It's taking us forever to get up right here. here. Mm -hmm. All right, let's engage this thing. Mm -hmm. We got eyes on. Should make things a lot easier for us now. Oh yeah. Here. Target damage. Can't let this guy run away, though. I think I hit something special, Commander. Keep jamming his radio signals. Confirmed. Yes, Commander. Swastana. Standing by. Full sprint. Two Ready? hexes. Feels like I'm driving an urban mech. I'm listening. Drive them down towards everybody else. Full shots. Throws his leg. He's not going anywhere now. Oh, he's dead. That was quick. Ooh, somebody was carrying incendiary ammo. Not good for you, buddy. Meltdown. Mission successful. All right, let's see what we got out of this here. So that Katsunun, Kats, whatever the hell it was called. Uh, okay, Rusty came out uninjured. I don't know if the vehicle was destroyed. I don't know if she bailed or what. Because she had full armor, I think, to start. So this thing is like, it's 10 tons. But I think this is supposed to represent a group of elementals. Battle armor design. Oh, so it is a single battle armor. Is it a single unit, a single ma battle armor or is it multiple I don't know had a heck of a lot of armor for being a single unit at 10 tons it would have to be like five of them I'm thinking that's probably what it was all right we don't want any of the urban mech parts we don't want any of the battle armor stuff because we can't really use it unless you have a battle armor ER medium laser is a possibility and incendiary rockets LRM5 Deltas, SRM4 down, uh, Advanced Optics Mark 1, yes please. Tag, do we have any tags up? We don't. I'm going to grab it just in case. We'll see what else is down here. Oh, Artemis 3. We have a 2 on the, uh, and a FARC Energy Accuracy. Oh! Take the tag out of there. We had it, we have a 2 on the, uh, trebuchet. So we can swap it out for the 3. Fire control system predator. Oh man, now I gotta make a choice. What were these then? These couldn't have been in the urban mechs. Maybe the, I don't know. The mongoose maybe? Range finders down here, holy crap. A lot of good stuff. Um, damn it. Okay, so this can definitely go into the trebuchet. Upgrade from the two to the three. And then this can probably go into the wolfhound. Because I think the fire starter is doing well enough without it. And we could put this into the fire starter. Or maybe we do it opposite. We put this in the fire starter. We'll figure it out. And the advanced optics can go in one of the mechs. Just going to give us a bonus accuracy within 540 meters. So yeah, we'll, we'll take those. Alright, we got some parts here. Three urban mech parts. Beautiful. We can put it together another urban mech for our urban mech lance. Battle armor lasers we can't use. Fluid guns, I don't know, one ton. SRM4 Valiant. Double crit chances with that weapon, so we'll hang on to that. I think we can swap that out onto the uh, Bushwhacker, maybe. 
it's the same weight as a regular SRM. Increased critical chance. We'll probably swap that out. We got the oh, we got the rangefinder. Fluid ammo inferno. Eight shots. Now these are. Yeah, these are considered um, support hard points. Which I think they also get used in melee too. Let's hang on to them for now. We might use them in the future, but I don't know. But we got a lot of good stuff out of this. I'm actually kind of shocked with the roll. It's actually pretty good. Alright, let's have a quick look at the mech bay here. I'm interested to see um, storage-wise. We should be able to put together... Yeah, we got lots of herb mech parts. I'm going to put these together. Uh, R60... Wait, where is... So this is the LRM version. We never got one of those weird ass versions. So the 68 was what? That's the MRM 30 version. So let's put that one together with what's the R6? Shoot, I can't remember now. Uh, let's cancel. The R6 was what? Come on. There we go. So the R6 is. That's the primitive one. R60 is the AC10 version. That's the LRM. The R25 is what? Uh, stealth armor and rockets. So this is the one, R25 and the R, these are the two we want to put together. Okay, so let's ready this guy. So the R6 can go, and the R60 part can go on there. Confirm. So there's possibility to get an MRM-30 off that. And then we have the R-25 we want to put together. Right? With the stealth. Yeah, so it's ready that one. It's costing us a little bit, but I don't really care. That mech is ready to fight, Commander. All right. Um, we'll check those in a second. I want to see. We don't really have any other... We don't really have any vehicle parts to put together a vehicle, though. I'm really getting tired of that galleon. All right, well, whatever. Okay, so the R68, let's refit this and see what we get off this. Looks like we're just gonna get a laser off the arm, probably. It's unfortunate. Yeah, we lost the MRM. Didn't even get a laser. We got a couple of heat sinks and jump jet, 60 core. Oh well. So we're gonna go ahead and scrap this one because this is the one that's gonna be going, or one of the ones that's actually going into the uh, Urban Mac Lance, we'll scrap that. And then we'll have a look at this guy. So all these Irbys that we put together, we're kind of saying that they're, they're getting shipped into the Irby Lance. So we got nothing off this. The whole core was gone. Oh well. No biggie. No biggie, we'll just deal with it. Let's just scrap this. 49,000. Alright, well... We still have the Holopolis coming. That's going to be nice. 24 days. So not too bad. Oh yeah, and I wanted to show you, if we go to storage real quick. Uh, no, components. Um, so weapons, ballistic. I'll show you the weapon we picked up in the middle bit. That you guys didn't see because I didn't bother keeping. So this is the Magshot Cannon. Damage 40. Heat 4, Stability Damage 5, it's 5 um, slots, 8 tons, but it has its own um, ammo, scroll down here, 510 range, carries 16 rounds, which is normally what I would carry on a weapon like this, right? Ultra lightweight Gauss Rifle. So this is actually not a bad weapon, they run nice and cool to do some good damage on. So I'm not sure where it'll end up, but you know this would be a great weapon for the uh, the Clint. You know what I mean? Like if you were putting together a Clint, this would be a great weapon for the Clint. Or I mean, you could use a AC5 or whatever. But this is kind of nice too because the heat is like negligible. It's a Gauss weapon, 510 meter range. 
you know it is volatile and stuff but the ammo is contained in this in the thing in the uh, weapon so if it's on the arm then at least if you lose it you just lose the arm and that'd be about it so it's only gonna do 40 damage it won't blow up the torso unless you got damage in the torso already so yeah it's actually not that bad all right so i am going to end this episode here hopefully we're going to be able to find some uh some tougher missions in the future um i'm at a two skull planet now so hopefully some two and a half um two two and a half skull missions will solve um the issue with uh com competition at this point um but we'll see how it goes all right so i'm gonna end the episode here i hope you enjoyed it if you did drop a like if you haven't subscribed please feel free to subscribe you can also drop any comments in the comment section down below until next time we'll see you later